told them that they should expect significant impacts at major hub facilities. Well, la -di da Everyone knew that. We are five days into the furloughs that have slowed down takeoffs and landings at America's airports. And travelers flying in and out of Norfolk International today reported few problems associated with the furloughs. Lieutenant on your side's Art Khan has been there most of the afternoon. He's there live. And what is, for the most part, good news. I'm sure a lot of travelers would love to yeah. hear it, Art. Tom and Nicole, I will tell you, uh, I've been keeping a close look at the arrival and departure board behind me here. And most of the flights coming into and out of Norfolk are on schedule. Consequently, most of the travelers I've spoken with seem pretty content. However, that said, that doesn't mean there haven't been some delays experienced. Most of the passengers arriving at Norfolk International Thursday afternoon reported on time. A quick look at the arrivals and departure board shows most flights are on schedule. The few passengers that did experience delays told me they presented only minor setbacks. We were coming out of Atlanta and um, it was just a nine minute delay. It was very good. We had a great flight. No delays except for nine minutes. Taken out of Atlanta, the plane had to pull over and wait because he said that they've been delayed about 15 minutes or so due to sequestration. While both of these women experienced delays out of Atlanta, they were on different flights. Both agree the delay was not enough to disrupt their travel. But Mary Thor tells 10 on your side there's a bigger issue to consider than travel time when talking about furloughs for flight controllers. As far as paying for a service and being a citizen of this country, I, I, I'm upset that, you know, that service is degraded right now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that while that story was up, we've seen a few more delays actually pop up on the board. And I'll tell you, most of those delays are coming out of the larger airports like in New York, Chicago, and Atlanta. Tonight at 6, we'll talk to some more travelers coming to Norfolk International and leaving Norfolk International and hear about their experiences. Live at the airport, Art Con, 10 on your side.